Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, it's Alex again, and uh, this is just a video to discuss the three main failsafe features that um, Installcraft has. If you haven't watched the original video about Installcraft, there's a link in the description below, um, so I'd recommend watching that first. Basically, if you don't know, Installcraft is a automatic mod installer for Minecraft mods. Each installer is written for each mod. So if you are interested in having this on your mod, uh, just send me a Minecraft message or a YouTube message. Uh, basically the first thing I want to show you is what happens when the installer detects that Minecraft doesn't exist on the computer. So I'm just going to hide Minecraft, as it were, into a temp folder. Oh, just so that it doesn't exist where it would normally. So now it's disappeared. Just run the installer. Again, this is the Critters installer. I'll put a link to that mod in the description as well. If I just go through next, I accept. Minecraft was not found on this computer set, it will now exit, so it won't attempt to install something if Minecraft isn't there. Um, if I just bring Minecraft back a second... Where did I put it? There. Um, the next one I sh want to show you is the resource check. Um, basically, this setup relies on this little file here, delete.bat. It's basically like a cleanup file, um, just to get rid of all the temporary files after it's finished. If the setup can't find that file, it hangs. So I put in a failsafe. If it, there's one or two reasons it might not be able to find that file. A, if it's still in its zip folder. So it hasn't been extracted. It recognizes that it can't find that file, and it tells the user either unzip the folder or re-download it if you've already unzipped it. The installer exits. So obviously the same would happen if I couldn't get into resources for whatever reasons, just say if it was missing or if it was renamed. Again it won't do it. So and the last thing I wanted to show you is um if for whatever reason one of the files fails to copy. So these are all the files that it's why is that there? That shouldn't be there. These are all the files it relies on. So um let's say Entity crawl went missing. I.e., I'm going to rename it. So let's say it went missing, um, and the setup tries to run. It'll still go through with it, but it comes up with an error here. For some reason, two of them are gone. I prof this is probably from when I tried making this video earlier. I probably didn't change it back. Yeah, you can see I've fiddled with that one as well. So. That's why those two, and it showed you that both of them fail. And the help file comes up. That normally comes up like this, but um, I've messed up the sizes of things on my computer. I've got to change it back at some point. So, Anyway, that comes up. Uh, it's a nice little error message. Um, tells you what you can do about it. Uh, that's basically it for me. Again, if you want uh, one of these installers on your mod, um, head over to the official forum page and send me a message, or send me a YouTube message, and um, with links to everything, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.